Now this is just gut-wrenching to see a teenager being wheeled into an ambulance after being shot outside of a New Orleans high school. Now, thankfully, he is expected to survive, but the mental wounds that he and really his other colleagues and students will face at that school suffer, they won't heal as quickly. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Cherise Gibson. And I'm Devin Bartolotta. The shooting outside Booker T. Washington High School today is one of many crimes involving teenagers in the metro area in just the last few weeks and months. But tomorrow we'll hear from teenagers themselves about how it's impacting them and what they want to see done. Eleanor Tabone looks at the impact the students hope to have. We're two weeks into the new year and the city has already been plagued by a slew of violence. Tuesday afternoon, a 16-year-old boy was shot in the leg outside Booker T. Washington High School. Two other young people suffered non-gun related injuries. The trio were taken to hospital. Jamar McNeely, CEO of Inspire Knowledge Charter Schools, has experienced the violence firsthand. This year alone, Inspire Knowledge Charter Schools has lost four students. If I look over the last past two years, that number goes up to nine. Over two weeks ago, a student at one of McNeely's schools, Courtney Hughes, was shot and killed at a party at a short-term rental in the Lower Ninth Ward. Chiron Peters was also killed. Another four young people were injured. We have students who are supposed to graduate this year who were unfortunately killed by gun violence. We have a senior who graduated last year who was a freshman in college who was killed by gun violence. It not only affects our administration, it affects our parents, it affects our students, it affects our faculty, where every single day we have to look at a chair where a student was there the, the day before, and now that chair is empty. Students from the City of New Orleans Inspire Nola Charter Schools will stand together Wednesday and raise their voices, calling for city leaders to do something and stop this violent crime. They're afraid to go outside. They're afraid to go to functions. They're afraid to go visit friends' schools. They're afraid to come to games. They're afraid to get off the bus to go home. It's important that we understand that no city should have to live this reality. Students from Edna Carr, Eleanor McMain and McDonough 35 will march Wednesday morning, advocating for an end to youth gun violence while promoting academic excellence. It's important that we impact our youth by giving them a voice giving them the opportunity to lead and be the advocates to promote this change. McKinley says he doesn't have the answer, but he's calling on the city to start running towards the problem and not away from it. Eleanor Tabone, Eyewitness News.